Okay guys, so welcome to this class. In this class, we are actually going to be looking at how to get our current location. So this is where I'm located at currently. This is my, you know, the current report location. I'm using an emulator, so I'm not actually here, but this is what my emulator is showing. As you can see, longitude 6.9, latitude 4.75. This is where my device is located currently. So what we're going to be doing is when we get our current location, we will zoom in into that particular location. So guys, let's dive into it. So the first thing we need to do will be to download the Nugget package for location services, all right? So we're gonna go to build, we're gonna go to project, go to solution, click on our project, go to project and click on add Nugget package. So we're gonna search for Xamarin, Google Play. So we're gonna look for the one for, for location. So this is the one we're looking for, all right? So we're gonna add this package. Accept the license. And it has been added. So now the first thing we need to do will be to, you know, to define um, our location request and our fused location provider client. The client is actually what helps us to fetch our current location. All right, so to do that, I'm going to say, I'm going to say location request. So let's resolve this. So location request, I'm going to say M location request. So I'm going to define if use location provider client. So I'm going to define this and call it location client. So I'm going to define an instance of our last location. So to do this, I'm going to say Android dot locations dot location so I'm gonna call this M last location so after we've done that we need some constants that we use to create our location request all right so we're gonna say static static int update interval all right so we are using this to create our location request so so eventually this constant will come into play these integers will come into play so set this to 5 this is 5 seconds actually And this is three meters so let me quickly explain what this means so update interval is the interval with which we update our current location and fastest interval is also the interval to which we update our current location all right displacement is more like the it's more like the distance we must cover before we update our current location all right so we probably might not be needing this until we start updating our user location. But for now, let's create a function that will help us to get our current location. So, so first of all, we need to initialize our location request. So we're going to say void create location request. All right. So we're going to say m last. We can say m location request equal to new location request. We need to initialize this first. We're gonna say m location request dot set. We're gonna set the interval. We're gonna pass it this static int fastest interval. Fastest interval should be here, and this was supposed to be update interval, and so 
So let's set the priority. Priority need to be location request. Location request the priority. So whichever one you select here will actually affect the accuracy of your location, all right? So we want it to be really accurate. So we're going to select high accuracy. Also, we need to initialize our fuse location client. So we're going to say location client equal to location services dot get fuse location client. I'm going to pass it a contest. I'm going to pass it an activity rather. Okay. So, and that is that. So the next thing we need to do is to create a function or a method that will actually get our current location. So to do that, we're going to say, we're going to create a new method and call it get my location. All right. And before we go ahead and do this, we first of all need to check if we have permissions to do that. So we're going to say if, if not check location permission, all right? So if this is false, we're going to exit this particular method, all right? But if it doesn't, we're going to continue and say m last location is equal to. So we can only get our last location asynchronously. So to do that, we need to, instead of having this as an ordinary void, we need to add async to it. Okay, so we need to say await location client dot get last location and sync. All right, so this will give us our last location. So now, if our last location is not null, if it's not null, we want to display it on the map. So to display it on the map, we're going to need to grab the latitude and longitude of our location and you and move our camera to that particular point all right so i'm going to say lat launch my position for the latitude m last location dot latitude m last location dot longitude so now we're going to say main map dot move camera camera update factory dot new lat launch zoom so we're going to pass it my position we're going to pass we're going to pass it the zoom float say 13. we need to now call this get my locations all right so to do that we go to our onCreate method after check location permissions, we're going to create our location request as we call this method. And after that, we're going to call get my locations. We need to run our app at this moment. Let's first of all build it because we added a new login package. So our build is complete. Okay, we didn't use displacement. So let's go to our create. So let's go back here and set our displacement. We didn't set it up initially. Set smallest displacement. We're going to pass it our displacement. So now let's run our app to check if everything works just the way we planned it. If you guys remember, we've already given access to our find location and coast location. So it might not, it might not request for permissions again. I think it's zoomed in. Okay. So I need to reduce the zoom. Or I need to zoom in more. So let me change this to 17. Okay, so as you can see, it's well zoomed in. We can see probably everything, and this is where we are. At. Okay.
okay this is our current location so guys this is how to get our current location hope you enjoy the class I actually don't like the map style that we used so if you remember we actually set this particular map style in previous classes so I'm going to change it to the default map style I really don't like this okay so I'm going to stop this and remove the map style okay so this is where we are so guys this is just how to get our current location I really hope that you enjoyed the class so guys see you in the next class